This video is brought to you by Zarkin Productions, an umbrella group composed of over 10 YouTube shows, an archive of over 4,000 videos covering a wide variety of topics, and businesses both inside and outside of Second Life. Please go to Zarkin.com for a complete listing of media links, follow us on Facebook and Twitter for our activity feed, subscribe to us on YouTube for future updates and please support us on Patreon. Thank you for your time, and may I present another, Zarakan production. Welcome to Wandering with Zarakan U. I am your camera cat showing you some of the amazing places I have been on Second Life. This is a video I made about the Lonely King and Dragon by Barrows at the Sombreros. Summer is about to end for this year. Today, you are visiting the green wood to relax. While you are staying under the shade of a large pipal tree, someone calls your name. You feel drawn to it, and turn to the direction of the voice, seeing a small girl looking at you. She says, Hello, nice to meet you, again. However, you don't remember meeting her. After a while, she says, Don't worry, it is understandable. Um, though I might be remembering wrong. Please don't worry about it. But, she looks a bit lonely. She picks up an old picture book titled, The Lonely King and Dragon, and tells you, if you are interested, wanna read this book. You feel a bit lost, but take the book, and open it. After that, you feel very dizzy, and faint, you have no idea how much time passed, but when you wake up, you are standing in an old castle, and a man who wears a crown is sitting in a big chair. He seems to not notice you. Well, this is a problem, you are inside the world of the old book, and a strange voice tells you in your head. Are you ready? Yes, the story has begun. Please join me as I explore the lonely king and dragon. Chapter 1 King's Room. A long time ago, somewhere, there was a king. He was good with sword fighting, but also genius, and had good talent for everything. However, because of it, he only trusted himself. He would cut in the work of all his retainers, not only political matters, but even how to cook dinner, make the beds and such. He did not believe in them at all. The first king of the kingdom was just like that so it might have been carried in his blood. Because of it, he first had hundreds of retainers, but five left, and then ten left, and more kept leaving. After a while, his dearest beloved queen died. And then, he was alone. He said to himself, Am I lonely? No, I feel refreshed. They did nothing good. Even if our enemy kingdom is coming, I can win alone. Oh wait. I heard they added some more soldiers. Hmm, I must think about how to defend against that. The king was worried about it, and looked outside the window. He saw a flying creature around top of the pointy mountain. Is that an eagle? No, it was too big, it might be a dragon. Very well, I will train the dragon as my horse, then there will be nothing to fear from the enemy. Chapter 2 Deep Forest the king rode on an old horse, the only one who remained in the castle besides him, headed to the pointy mountain. It looked close, but was pretty far away, and the sun began to set. The darkness of the night fell on the road, and nothing could be seen around, but the king kept going on his way without fear. While he was crossing the deep forest, the old horse was surprised by something, causing the king to get thrown off and onto the road. The king, looked around, and noticed a lot of red eyes watching him behind the trees. Scary wolves. The king was petrified by that. He did not fear dragons, but was completely terrified of wolves. Oh my, wolves. Those scary red eyes, the pointy teeth, how can I be? Ah, the old horse ran away, leaving the king really alone, and the wolves came closer and closer to him. Suddenly, the wolves were scared by something, and ran away into the woods. 
the thing that scared the wolves slowly appeared from above the very large trees, more and more of a huge head coming into view. Yes, it was the dragon. The dragon looked at the king, and he proclaimed without fear, Oh, dragon, I was looking for you. The king knew dragons love treasures, so he told the dragon, I have piles upon piles of treasure in my castle. I will give it all to you, if you will agree to be my retainer. The dragon looked at the king a bit longer, and thought something to herself, nodding slowly after a while. The dragon picked up the still petrified king, and flew over towards the castle. Chapter 3 Queen's Room The king went to the treasure room, and opened the door, and saw all his treasure was, no. The king couldn't believe his eyes, it looked like his retainers had taken the whole treasure. The king looked around in the castle, to try to find something valuable, the minister's room, nothing except for some papers. He found a historical book, but it was too small for the dragon to read. He looked around the weaponry, but there was nothing there either. He then remembered the queen had been researching magic, so he went to the queen's room. There was a crystal ball, and a magic wand there, but they reminded him of his beloved queen too much, he decided to not touch them. Meanwhile, the dragon watched it all from the window, noticing he was being watched. The king quickly hid the queen's treasures. The king kept trying to think of some other treasure. Then the dragon gave his back a soft nudge to get his attention, and pointed to an old tower over the hill outside. Ah yes, the tomb of kings, we have a lot of treasure in there. We must go now, said the king. Chapter 4 Tomb of Kings The king unlocked the door of the tomb, and went inside with a lamp in his hand. After a while, he reached the center of the tomb. Yes. There were lots of treasures, that had been hoarded by all the old kings. The light of the moon, illuminated the treasures through the open roof of the tower. When he approached the coffin of the first king, a voice came over from above. Do you remember it? Oh well, don't worry, it is understandable. The king was surprised, because that was the first time the dragon spoke, and he knew the voice, it was of his dearest queen. He panicked a bit. But the dragon continued, I know what you want to ask, why am I alive again, and why am I a dragon now? She explained that she knew that soon, from rumors, that all of the king's retainers that had left, would reach the enemy kingdom, and they would then attack. So she used a spell of metamorphosis, to turn into a dragon, and keep watch for their arrival at Pointy Mountain. She told the king, you are a descendant of the first king with the appointed task of correcting his fault. The king remembered the first king, who was even more selfish than him, and killed retainers, because he bought them. In the end, an animal handler used wolves to kill him. The first king's queen was also a magic user. You did not kill any retainers this time, but you are alone now. Still, don't worry, my dear. I will be with you forever, even if you make the same mistake again and again, as I swore to you two hundred years ago. She told him with a smile. But the king looked unhappy, maybe he remembered, maybe not, and he shook his head. Chapter 5 King's Study After going back to the castle, the king started writing letters of apology, and thanks, to hundreds of retainers in three days, without sleeping. When he was done, he told the queen, Please, deliver all these letters to my retainers now. The queen was surprised, and told him, oh no, but the enemy kingdom is there already, behind the hill. The king replied, you know, is there a king who has been protected by his queen? I do not think they would forgive me, just because of a letter, and I won't spend more happy days with you, next time. It made her sad, but she told him with pain, you wrote these letters with your soul. I believe it will reach their hearts, the dragon flew up with dead drops like crystal. After the king saw her off, he apologized, and thanked the old horse, then rode him, rushing to the army behind the hill with bravery. The queen sent all the given letters to all his retainers, and then after, that she was not seen again. The retainers however took the letters to heart, 
and so forgave the king, as through his actions he bravely tried to protect the kingdom on his own, and the retainers also hoped that their king, and the queen, will meet again sometime in the far future. They feel the queen may be tormented by her selfish actions, but they hope that both the king, and queen will be able to live in peace together. Epilogue. When you regain your senses, you are standing where you met the girl, but she was already gone. The book is left on the ground. You pick it up carefully, and notice you can't go into the world of the book again, but you remember, when you love someone, she might be the girl who was your lover, or family in another time, as another gender, or relationship. And in this virtual world, your avatar might be a mirror, of who you were a long time ago, or who you will be in the far future. We wish you good memories. Barrows.